Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Liv and you are at Live Aligned. Today we have a very quick core focused Pilates session in store. Now I will be using my Bala bangles around my ankles and my wrists, but that is completely optional. So if you don't have any, that's totally fine. You can do this class without them. Now let's get started lying on our backs. So make your way down onto your back bringing your knees to a bent position, coming up onto the toes so your heels are raised, and reach your arms up towards the ceiling, palms facing in. Let's just start by opening our knees out into a butterfly, and then using those inner thighs to draw the legs back together. That's it, open and close. Now everybody's range is different here, and you may be a little bit tight through the hips, so don't worry if you're not opening out super wide, just getting some mobility through the hips and starting to work and wake up those inner thighs. Great, now we're going to alternate an arm opening as well. So as the knees close, let's open those arms out wide. And then as the knees open, let's squeeze the chest and close the hands back together, pressing the hands together to activate through the chest. That's it, so alternating our legs, and our arms. Really take a big breath in as you open the arms and feel those pecs switch on as you squeeze the arms back together, pressing the hands together. Amazing. Now you can stay just like this, but if you would like to add an ab curl, as the legs open and as you press those hands together, tucking the chin, lifting up into an ab curl, reaching through the legs. That's it. Trying to keep your tailbone really heavy as you curl up if you are adding in that ab curl. Feeling the chin tuck. And your lower rib cage drawing down towards your hip bones to lift you right up off of the mat there. Wonderful, let's do another five. Four, three, two, one. Bringing your head down, hands stay reaching up to the sky. Now we will extend our legs straight up towards the ceiling. Okay, let's go back into those leg openings now, opening our legs out into a split and then using the inner thighs to draw the legs back together. That's it, open and close. Feeling the weight of the legs a little bit more in this position. Engaging through the pelvic floor, through your deep core muscles to keep you nice and still and stable on the mat there. Again, let's add our arm openings as well. As the legs close, open the arms out wide and then sweep them back to the center, pressing the hands together to activate through the chest and the arms. That's it, keep going here. And option to add in your ab curl as the legs open and the hands press together, tucking the chin, lifting up into your curl and down. Now really make sure you aren't lifting your hips and bringing your legs back towards your head. You want to keep your feet in line with your hips. So really using your abs to lift you up into that curl and reach through the legs. Wonderful. Let's curl up and pulse through those legs. So we're reaching and reaching for five, four, three, two, hold the curl on one, hold, 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 and tiny pulses with your legs. Four, six, five, four, three, two, one and bring it down. Good work. Hug your knees in towards your chest for a moment. Little rock side to side. 
bringing your hands now underneath your tailbone so you're supporting lo your lower back and tucking your tailbone under. Re-extend your legs up towards the ceiling. Taking circles with our legs, so we open the legs out wide, circle the feet down and around, and then sweep those legs up the centre together. Open, circle, down, around, and then up through the middle. Now making those circles as small or as large as you would like today. And can you flex your feet as you circle those feet down and around and point your toes as you sweep up through the middle. And use that breath to help you here. On the effort, you are exhaling. Incredible. Can you start to reverse those circles now? Sweeping down first, opening at the bottom and circling up and around to the top. Flex the feet on the way down. Point the toes as you open the legs and circle up and around. Just a few more here. Okay, making that your last circle, good job. Feet can come back down onto the mat now, rocking your knees side to side gently. And let's make our way up into a kneeling tabletop position. All right, hands coming underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, and let's lift the right knee off the mat. Extend your right leg behind you, squeezing through the glute and the hamstring, and then draw that knee back in beside the other. That's it, extend and bend. Beautiful. Drawing up through the core as you extend the leg behind you, Really trying to focus in and squeeze the glute and the hamstring as that leg presses out. Now to get into our core, especially those obliques, next time you extend the leg behind you, keep it straight, sweep out to the side and try and tap the floor gently in line with your hip. And then lift the leg back up and sweep it back behind, draw the knee in. Extend, open, sweep and tap. Lift up and sweep back. You'll feel your body really wanting to twist towards that leg that's sweeping out to the side. Try and not let that happen. Drawing in through the waist, up through the core. Pressing into the mat with your hands. It's like you're trying to split your mat in half. Right now, if you would like more of a challenge, lift your left hand off the mat. Extend the left arm forward as the right leg reaches behind you. Keep that left arm reaching forward as you sweep and tap. Lift, draw the knee in and the elbow. That's it, extend, hold the arm, tap the leg, lift it back up and then draw the knee and the elbow in. Great. Our last option to make it that just that bit more challenging is to sweep the left arm out to the left side as you tap the foot out to the right. And then you bring everything back to center and draw the knee and the elbow in. Let's do another 20 seconds like this. Pressing into your supporting hand, trying not to dump all of your weight into that right shoulder and arm. Let's do another five. Four, three, two, one. Great job, come on down. Take a few rounds of cat and cow. You can bring your hands reverse, so palms down, fingers pointing back to the knees if you want to stretch out through the wrist joint. Any other stretches you would like to take, we will just set up for the other side straight away. So when you're ready, back into that kneeling tabletop. This time the left leg will extend behind and then bend back in. Extend and bend, beautiful. Lengthen through the crown of the head all the way down to your tailbone, all the way down through the leg into that left heel. Pressing your hands into the mat. Adding in your sweep and tap. 
Next time you extend the leg behind you, sweep it out to the left side, gentle tap in line with the hip. Lift it up straight away and sweep it back behind, draw the knee in. You've got it. This is where those obliques really kick in, drawing in through the waist, keeping your spine straight. Amazing, now option to lift your right hand off the mat and extend it forward as you extend the leg behind you. Keep that right arm reaching forward as you sweep and tap out to the left side. Lift the leg and draw the knee and the elbow back into the middle. That's it, reach and extend, tap, that's it, and in. Find length through the fingertips, through the toes, as you lift up through the core. If you wanted that extra layer, sweep your right arm out to the right side as you tap out to the left with the foot. That's it, back to the center and in, doing so well. This is your last exercise. We are here for another 20 seconds. Amazing, let's do five, four, three, two, bring it in on one, well done. Come into a child's pose, stretch knees wide, feet together, melting the hips back down onto the heels and walking your hands forward out in front of you. A big breath in and a big exhale out through the mouth. Walking your hands over to the right side of your mat. Stretching through the left side of your body. Big breath in. And a deep relaxing breath out. Walking your hands over to the left side of your mat. And again, inhale, big breath in. And exhale, release. Wonderful, now you can stay here as long as you like and keep stretching or keep moving. There's other videos that you could add on to this one to make it a full length workout. Um, if you do need to head off, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this one. Remember to like this video, share it with a friend or a family member and subscribe to my channel so we can keep doing Pilates together. I can't wait to see you next time. Have an amazing day. Thank you so much. Bye for now.